Next time you're at a hardware store, pick up a screw and look at the threads closely. The shape formed by the threads of a screw is called a helix. Screws, helical gears, and worm gears are commonly used mechanical components which have helical threads. Other places you might see helical shapes are in springs, like the one in your clickable ballpoint pen, or in a weighing scale, or the suspension in your bicycle or car. Let's first look at the key geometric features that define the overall shape and size of a helix, which you can see in the figure on your screen right now. There are four key geometric parameters associated with a helix. One, axis. This is the line of symmetry about which the helix is wound. Two, diameter. This is the largest lateral dimension of the helix. This is equal to the diameter of the circle formed by the projection of the helix on a surface perpendicular to it. Three, number of turns. This is the count of how many turns the helix has. Four, pitch. This is the distance between any two points on the helix that are exactly one turn apart, measured parallel to the axis. With these four parameters, we can exactly define the size and shape of a helix. Now, imagine a single turn of the helix. If you take the single turn and unwind it into a straight line, the length of the straight line can be calculated as the circumference of a circle of diameter d. The helix angle is defined as the angle subtended between this unwound circumferential line and the pitch of the helix. This is shown in the figure on your screen right now. 